In this video, we'll see an introduction to dashboards. What is a dashboards? What are the uses of dashboards and how do we create it? So for that, what I've done is I have created a workbook named as introduction to dashboards. And what I've done is I've created few different charts like bar chart, line chart, packed bubbles, and you can see as maps. So these are different uh, charts and maps which I've created. So now when I go for a presentation or when I want to analyze data into one picture, so during that time, I have to create some option named as dashboards. How does a dashboard look like? And if you observe, this is the dashboard, how it looked like. So it says, these are the all four charts, which I've created in separate sheets. So this one is the bar chart, line chart. These are the maps and that's nothing but the packed bubbles. Where did I get it from? I did not create it from scratch anything here, but I've borrowed from this four different charts or you can say four different sheets. And when I go for a presentation, I can show this particular map or all the graphs and it makes my visualization much more easier. So I can show the profit year wise. I can show the sales as per the regions. I can show which uh, products or subcategories are been sold higher and I can also show the categories. This is just an example on how does a dashboard look like. So I'll be showing you how to create this kind of dashboard from scratch. Let us see that. If you observe the difference between the sheets and the dashboard, there's a small icon that is making a difference. It says nothing but a square icon which says inside there are multiple sheets which can come inside. So this is a dashboard which is given here. How do I create a dashboard? There are many methods to create. The easiest method is you can click on this second plus sign. It says new dashboard. I'll click on this new plus sign and this would be an empty dashboard. Why it is saying as dashboard two? Because earlier to this, I have created dashboard one, right? This is one method. Second method is you can go to this dashboard menu bar and select the option as new dashboard. And if you observe a new dashboard uh, sheet is created separately dashboard sheet here and the name is given as dashboard three. Do I need to do it again? Creating of maps and all in this place? No, you can simply drag and drop and your dashboard would be created. So let us see the layout what is given here. Here, if you see, I have got a dashboard pane. Earlier, when we were working on the sheets, if you see this bar, bar chart, I used to have this data pane where I used to get different fields and the different data types which I used to get. But in the dashboard, you'll not be getting any data pane. What you'll be getting is device preview where you can see that on different devices, how does it look like? You'll be getting the size of the screen. How do you want to see your dashboard into different sizes like you can see as a4 a3 a3 portrait and so on on the below this one if you observe these are the names of the sheet these are basically four different sheets which are given bar chart line chart packed bubbles and the maps these are four different sheets why only four because if you see in the below option these are the four sheets which i have created so it is asking me that if you want to import any of the four sheets you can pick up those so I'll try to create a dashboard using this sheets. First of all, I'll pick up this bar chart, simply drag and drop, and you'll be getting the entire bar chart. If you want some more option or you can say some more maps or charts, like say, if I want to pick up this maps, select the maps and you can just drag it. And if you see, it is automatically adjusting itself, giving almost 50% of the screen space like this. I can drop it anywhere. So now on the top, I have the bar chart below. I have the maps, right? So it is easy to understand on the right hand side. If you see, that's a gradient field, which is given for this particular maps, because when we go to the maps, there was some gradient field where you can understand which color belongs to which, you know, region itself, or you can say which sale, highest sales, darker blue color. Next is suppose if you want to add a few more charts, let's say line chart, pick up and drag and drop like this again, packed bubbles drag and drop, you'll be getting packed bubbles here. Now, if you observe here for subcategory, this chart, I'm getting different options. This legend, this legend, which I've kept my cursor, it belongs to packed bubble. This category, it belongs to this particular bar chart, or you can say this one, the line chart and the sales, it belongs to this maps. Now, what I want is if I, this is a dashboard, which is created. If you observe the size of this dashboard is very small. I mean, this, there's an empty space, which has been left. What I can do is here. I can change the option that is desktop browser, the size I can click on drop down from in this drop down. I can select some other option. Let's say full screen. 
if I select full screen, still the option is not working here. What I can do is I can keep on changing. Let's say instead of full screen, I have selected that. And on the top, if you observe, there's a fixed size. If I click on the drop down and select the automatic. Okay. And if you see the entire space has been filled. Now, why do I need to keep on changing the size and all? The reason is W desktop supports on different devices like your laptops, your iPads and your mobile phones. So when you're using on different devices, obviously it won't look the same. So you need to keep on changing the layout. So the person who's watching this dashboard, it should be user friendly and the layout should be proper. Therefore, this area, if you see the size is given, the device preview is given. If I click on this device preview, you might find something on the top. Okay. If I, if I again click on this device preview, there was a small toolbar, which was been removed. Okay. That we'll discuss in detail. But what I'm trying to say is we have created the dashboard in a simple and easy manner. When you go for a presentation, this dashboard is useful and you can just simply click on this presentation mode like this. And if you observe, this is how you'll be representing your dashboard. It's very simple here. Now let's move to the next one. If I want to create my dashboard as an interactive, like interactive uh, filters, we have seen about the interactive filters, same way I'll try to create interactive. How do I create it? I will select this bar chart. When you select the bar chart, it will be selected and the rectangle will be surrounded with the chart. Click on this small drop down and you have the option as filters inside the filters. If you observe, there are given two options, category and sale. If you see category and sale, why category and sale? Because I'm having the X axis for the category, Y axis for the sales. If I pick up from this drop down, if I click on the line chart, click on the drop down. And now if I select the filter, I'll be getting three options, category, sum of sales and year of date x axis y axis and there's a filter which is given that is based on the category so at every chart whichever you select the options will keep on changing if i click on this filters again i'll be getting three some other options why these options are coming changed because if i go to bar chart and if you observe i'm using two pills here that is category and sales if i go to line chart i'm using year and some that is sales and the third one is category so every map, every chart, the categories, or you can say the different pills are changing. Therefore, you're getting this pills. So leave it aside. What I'm trying to say is I want to show you how to create interactive dashboard. Click on the drop down, select the filters. And from here, I'll select category. On the right hand side, you might remember we have seen about the filtering. So this one is a category filter. If I select deselect furniture, you might observe there is some change on the screen. You see this one has changed. Okay. This option has changed. If I click on the office supplies, this also has changed the bar chart, but along with this bar chart, the other charts are also been changed. Okay. There's some changes in the other charts. If I, if I deselect technology and if you observe the entire data is blank now, there's nothing selected. If I want to understand the sales, or the profit and everything related to this technology, or you can say related to furniture. I'll click on this furniture option. And if you see packed bubbles, what are the different subcategories in furniture? What are the sales done in the furniture section? This furniture total sales and year wise sales for this furniture. So everything you'll be getting at one place. Why and how it is changing on all the different charts? Because if you click on this drop down, and select the option as apply to worksheet. Right now it has selected as all using related data sources. Therefore, whenever I select a technology or furniture, all the charts in the dashboards are being affected. If I select only this worksheet, and if you observe here, if I select all, you see only one chart will change. That is nothing but bar chart. You see, there's an option. Whereas if I click on the drop down. If I apply to worksheets, if I select the option as apply using related data sources, if I select this option and now if I deselect any one, every map or every chart on the dashboard will be impacted. If I click on office supplies and if you observe every chart is impacted. If I deselect technology, it is completely blank. So what is it all about? This is when you create a filter, click on this drop down 
apply to worksheets and you can keep on swapping between these fields that is all using related data source and only this worksheet when i say only this worksheet only bar graph will be impacted right so this what we are doing is basically we are seeing how to work with interactive dashboards why and where it will be useful when you are going for a presentation and you select this option as presentation mode now if you want to only understand the sales done in the furniture section deselect all and then you can select this furniture now you can easily tell me furniture total sales here is the total sales furniture sales region wise furniture categories and furniture sales year wise so visualization analysis is much more better in the dashboards now i'll just press escape and come back here right so i hope you have understood what is a dashboard and what is the easy method to create a dashboard in just few seconds and uh, that's all for this video mm -hmm.